What is going up guys? Welcome back to another episode here. I hope you guys are all having a great and fantastic day today. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Chime. Is it worth it or is it a bad mobile bank? Now, before we get started, I need you, the viewer, to do me a couple of favors. I need you to go down and smash that like button. Smash it hard. It's greatly appreciated. Now, don't forget guys, if you guys have been sticking around, you know we're doing an Xbox One giveaway. How you enter, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram, and then comment done on this video so I know that you've done it. So let's jump into today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. So what is Chime? What is Chime? Is it the Chime you hear during an instrument? I don't even know. Or is it the free mobile banking app that is available on the iPhone and the Android. A lot of people use Chime for a couple of reasons. The first one, the low cost, the low fees, and everything like that. Or is it because you get paid early? Yes, if you set it up with direct deposit, you get paid on Wednesday instead of Friday. Now, I'll talk about how they do that later in this episode, but we're gonna be breaking down the pros, the cons of this, and pretty much my overall opinions on it. Now, a lot of people use Chime. They have the rewards, they have the micro savings, the regular savings account, but just so you know, they only have a checkings account and a savings account. They don't have any CDs or any money markets account. This is just everything that they pretty much have is checkings and savings. So what are the pros to Chime? Now, obviously, like all banks, they are set up where they can get online deposits. Meaning that, meaning that when you work for an employer, they can put in your account number, your routing number, and they can pay you through whatever payment system they have. Now how that happens is normally on Wednesday, your employer will send all that money to the bank. The bank will hold that for anywhere from two to three days until those funds clear and to process. What Chimes does is it lets them instantly come into your bank account. Now, a lot of other cards do this. Visa has one and a couple of other um, Capital One has it. It's just pretty much faster payments. Uh, most of the time you do have to pay, you know, two to four dollars per month to get this access. But with Chime, there are no fees. That's one of the pros to it as well. There's no fees with this card. So if you go over your spending limit or anything like that, you don't get charged like a $39 fee for going over your spending account. Now they don't have any monthly fees as well. So a lot of people like that. Right now, I don't pay any monthly fees, but I know there are multiple banks out there that charge upwards of 14, 15, even $16 per month to have a bank account with them. Now, a lot of people also use the cashback feature. So it's very similar to credit cards where they offer cashback on certain restaurants, dining, entertainment, everything like that. Chimes the same way. When you have a payment, that goes through and you might get some cash back depending on what that payment was for. And you can use those cash backs to pretty much get more bonuses on your card and pay for more things. Another thing that I love about the Chime card is they have split the bill. So if that's say you go out to eat and you're, and you're having dinner with you and a couple of buddies, you can all use the Chime mobile app and you can either money transfer it to their account and split the bill that way. Now, a lot of people use to do the split the bill for rent, utilities, and everything like that because it instantly comes out of your account and you don't have to worry about any pending transactions. Now, one of the things that stood out for Chime for me was the automatic savings account. Now, the reason why it stood out is for this. They have the roundup feature and they have the micro savings account. What is the micro savings and what is all of that other crap I just said, the roundups and everything? Well. First off, the roundups are very similar to Acorns Roundup. For those of you that don't know what Acorns Roundup are, is if that's say you buy a coffee for $1.50, what Chime will do, or Acorns, whatever one, is they will purchase it for $2, and they'll take that 50 cents and send it to a savings account or an investment account. Now, Acorn sends it to an overall investing account and Chime sends it to an overall savings account. And you don't really see it happening because it just adds up over time. Now, another thing that they have with the savings account is you can instantly save a certain percentage of your paycheck from your employer without you even knowing. So if that's say you make $100 and you wanna take 10%, 20%, 30% and send that to your savings account, it will automatically send you that 30, 20, $10, depending on how you have it set up. It'll instantly send that to your savings account so you don't see it in your account and you don't get tempted to buy other things. Now, those are all the pros to this and you might be thinking, well, Carter, that is 
that is the best bank out there. Well, trust me, there are definitely some cons to this card and reasons why I personally would never get it. Now, the very first thing they have is no branches. So what that means is if you're like me, I go to a local credit union. I used to go to Alley, but they had no branches and you don't realize it until you want to get money out or you want to deposit money on your card, how complicated it really is. Because if that's say you have money, you have to go to a big superstore or like a big popular store and you have to go to the customer service desk and give them money and they charge you four or five dollars and it sucks. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of money and so there's no branches. So every time you take out money also, they don't have any ATM reimbursement. They do have over 24,000 ATMs that you can pick from and not get charged any but 24,000 you might be saying is a lot but it's not a ton and you'll be surprised on how many aren't on it. So there's no ATM reimbursements, which I don't understand because Acorns has it, Alley has it, a ton of other banks have ATM reimbursements, but I guess not Chime. Maybe they're trying to do it, but maybe they're not. I don't know, I don't really like it because I do like getting some money out, not having to worry about any of those uh, stupid ATM fees. Now another terrible thing that they have is a point a point oh one percent APY. You understand what is APY? Annual percentage per year. So pretty much what that means is if you have a savings account with them with that's say a thousand dollars in it. Now the APY is point oh one percent. So what happens is over time you get interest monthly. Now throughout the whole entire year you're gonna get ten dollars with .01, I'm telling you guys, there are tons of banks that offer more. Ali offers a one point eight percent per year. That's going to be a lot more money than only ten dollars. Now if you're like me, I go to a local credit union where they offer me 4.06 percent per year and the only thing that I have to do is have only ten transactions per month and almost everybody has more than that. So it's just, I think a lot more people should realize how much money they're missing out with this low APY because it is a significant. If you're saving you know, thousands of dollars per year, you're missing out on possibly hundreds of dollars of just free money. Now, I'll put a list down below of the top, you know, three that I use or have used in the past that give a good high interest savings account. Now, one of the worst things that they have, and especially one of the worst things that I'm sure you've experienced, is terrible customer service with bank. Now, that's what Chime has. Chime, if you want to reach out to them, good luck getting a phone number and good luck emailing them or messaging them through the mobile app. Now, on average, this is literally straight data. When you send the message, it takes anywhere from two to five business days for them to answer. Now, most banks, you can call them up, you can ask them questions, or even Apple has a messaging platform, text messaging, where they instantly get back to you with a question or an answer or anything that you have to you know, talk to them about. Chime takes two to five days, so if you send an email with very little information, the next email you're gonna get is, can you verify this info? Can you send me this thing? Now, if you just wanna get a good bank, that's one of the pros of having branches and having a little bigger company, especially not just a only mobile bank. Now, Ali's different. Ali doesn't have a ton of banks, but they do have a lot more reliable history and they have great customer support. So if you're looking for a more mobile bank style for online, I highly recommend Ali over this so far. Now the last con that they have is they don't have any overdraft protection. Now if that's say your card isn't set up for your overdraft stops, then you're gonna get overdraft. Now there's no fees with it, but it's still irritating because your card will kind of get accepted even though you don't have any money on it. Now I think they do that on purpose because I do think they make some money from the retailers from that. but. I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. Overall, what would I give Chime? I'll give Chime a 3.2 out of 5. The reason why is because I think they should have higher APY. I think they should have ATM reimbursement. I think they should possibly even have one branch because Ali has a couple branches. They're just kind of spread out and pretty far away. Now, and they have terrible customer support. Now, but on the plus side, they do have a ton of incentives. They do have the automatic savings, the roundup features and a variety of other things. So I think overall, this is definitely geared toward the younger crowd. People who are just starting out and getting their first banks and first you know, uh, jobs and everything like that. Cause you can set up the online deposits, pretty simple. And I think there will be a $50 promotion. So if you sign up with them, 
There'll be a link down below, but right now it's only a 3.2. I think they can do better. This is not an ad or anything like that, guys. Also, this is my disclaimer. This is 100% what I think, so don't go out and take this advice too seriously. This is just my general opinion, so take that with a grain of salt. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, drop a subscribe down below. All the subscribers are loving it. I don't know, guys. Don't forget about the giveaway. That will be announced pretty shortly here. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care and peace out.